what's going on guys it's been a while i do apologize about that i've been getting text messages and emails and everything about when am i going to upload a video and i do want you guys to know that i do appreciate that and appreciate the fact that you want to see more videos i hope to get back in a rhythm of getting these videos back uploaded at least one or two a week just been pretty you know pretty busy and uh just haven't took the camera out anyway i'll take you guys along today on this repair we have an icp unit a little builder's model or uh, it's the arm r series is what we call it i came out sunday and uh or yeah sunday and found the both service valves had been cooked uh, the unit's been moved from its original installation place due to a back porch was built and whoever they hired to move the condenser, he totally burnt the valves. Uh, they're leaking, they're leaking very well. Let's just say it like that. So I have both valves and we are going to go replace them, pressure test the system, recharge the system. And uh, that's about it. And hopefully we can get these people back online. All right, guys, here's our unit. You can see the oil. I hope that shows up on camera. These valves are covered in oil. Even his solder joints right here are leaking. Then he's got this big piece of, it looks like half inch copper, maybe a little smaller than half. And he went all the way up here and he burnt that valve when there's clearly three eighths right here. So I'm gonna replace the dryer and then three eighths it to the valve. So let me get started on tearing all this apart. I'm gonna take the electrical panel and fold it over and then I gotta take this bottom panel off and uh, we'll get started. <laughs>
inside in a candlelight Since it's a little too late and it won't last long I need to tell you everything before we're gone It's a little too late and it won't take long I need to show you everything before we're gone this time Alright, I think I got it now, man Y'all keep going All right, guys, I hope y'all were able to catch that. I had the camera propped up on my tripod. I got this one unsoldered. I got the big one unsoldered. Cut this pipe. Cut the dryer out. I've got so many leaves around me. I've got to clear out. All right, so we're going to clean this up some more. Get the new valves in place and wrap them with some... Uh, uh, oh shit, the Viper wet rag, that's it. The Viper wet rag. That's what we're gonna wrap them with. This one's ready, all I gotta do is unscrew it, take it out. All right guys, so I got both new valves in. Got the small one brazed in, I have it bolted down, I have the suction brazed in and bolted down, line set ready, put a dryer. Alright guys, both valves are in. Uh, I used some wet rag to wrap them up. Uh, everything is brazed in on both sides. The dryer is brazed in. New dryer. I haven't been able to get the film I want because as Ted would say, we have a little bit of a helicopter here. But she just went inside so I thought I'd get some footage. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some nitrogen on the system and pressure test it. While the pressure test is holding, if I if it looks like it's excuse me, if it looks like it's holding and I don't see no leaks, I'll start putting the unit back together. So uh that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we have our nitrogen tank and our and we have the uh the, the new S Man 380 and 480 V has a tightness test feature, and that's what we're in right now. We have not lost any, you can see, and we're at 35 seconds. So we're gonna let that hold. I don't hear anything. Uh, the evaporator, I scanned it for leaks the other day and everything looked good. So we're gonna let this hold for about 10 minutes or so. All right, we're coming up on 10 minutes and we're still holding solid. We went from 215.5 four to 215.2 and 215.1 so i'm not worried about that we didn't drop any you know below 215 so i'm pretty happy with that let it sit a couple more minutes and then we'll transfer into vacuum and start putting this unit back together All right, guys, like I said, a little bit of a helicopter, but it's running. We're using the RS44B, which is R453A, and it's actually built into the S-Man. We are done. That unit is operational. Guys, I apologize. I don't, I have, you know, I'll try to edit this out the best I can, but she was a pretty good helicopter. A very sweet lady. I mean, you know, she sat on the porch and talked to me the whole time, pretty much, and 
she was just very, very eager to get her air back on because I had to order those valves. Nobody had them in stock. None of the IC, we got like three ICP suppliers here and nobody had them. Uh, so anyway, she was eager to get her air back on and it's back on and she's happy now. So I do hope you guys did enjoy the video though. Tried to get the best I could with her sitting right there. I will continue to take the camera out. Thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate every single one of y'all. And um, we'll see you guys on the next one.